sorry I look like a mess, but I haven't really gotten ready today. I just, I don't really care. It's my day off. I wanted to show you where I keep all of my budgeting stuff, but I actually just keep it right here in the dinette because I'm always going to it. I'm always opening it up, checking our budget, adding stuff, taking stuff away. Um, I just want it somewhere accessible. All right, so I've got this little container. I believe we got these from Walmart. Um, it came in like a set of like five or six different sizes and this one is perfect for all my stuff. Like I had mentioned, this is where we keep our sinking funds. This is our notebook for our budgeting. My stickers. This is just like an extra little binder. It's a zip up like wallet planner thing by Kate Spade and then just like a bunch of stuff like pens and whiteout which I need a lot because I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> this is my little savings challenge jar. So this is another topic. Um, we like to save and this is just a fun way for me to incorporate saving into our budget. So I basically do it bingo style. I wrote a bunch of little numbers on these little pieces of paper um, basically 1 through 52 for the 52 weeks in a year uh, every week i pull a number and that's the amount of money that we'll save for the week and by the end of the year it'll equal 1368 dollars i believe these guys have a different light why noise it keeps me up at night i can't help but think back to you I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. So here's just kind of a quick rundown of how I like to set up our budget for the month. So on this page, I like to put our sinking funds, and that's a whole separate like topic that I can go over later. But I like to keep our sinking funds in this little handy dandy folder binder thingy. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. All right, and then on this side, it kind of has it pre-set up for birthdays, monthly goals. I like to use this as our, where we track our credit score. And then down here, I like to track our debt. So that's how I have it set up. I haven't completely filled it out, but basically I'll list our debts, um, how much we pay, and then like our balance at the end of the month. And then this month on the 31st is my sister's birthday. This is where I keep our calendar of all of our bills. And then here on this page is our budget and income section. So as you can see, August budget, all of our expenses for the month, including gas, groceries, sinking funds, and all of that. So here I'll put what's budgeted for the month like what it will ideally cost sometimes it varies um here and there like our lately our usaa insurance for our vehicles has been varying a little bit um a lot of these stay pretty much the same and then the actual and then if it varied plus or minus and then it'll be totaled down here at the bottom our income, I basically follow the same setup. So down here, this is gonna be our budgeted income, actual income, and then um, plus or minus if it goes either way, and then totaled at the bottom. So then these pages are, um, these extra pages, so I have one, two, oh, hold on, one, two, three, four. So these will be the paychecks every week. So paycheck one and how that money's gonna be allocated paycheck two how that money is going to be allocated three and then four um, sometimes it's a five paycheck month so I'll just take the last page and split it in half and, and do paycheck four paycheck five um, we do get paid weekly so that's why we have it set up that way all right guys so I am done with week two of work um, well friend's been working the entire time so lucky her but I just finished my last week of training on days. That's true, so she did. So starting Sunday, I'll be on my own. Yep, starting Sunday, she'll be on her own and she'll be on her new days off, which is gonna change our whole vlogging style up. Um, Bryn will actually have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, and I'm only gonna have Saturday, Sunday off. While she's off, she'll be vlogging. While I'm off, I'll be vlogging. Granted, I'll probably be playing a lot of golf, but eh. 
Probably. So, I'm gonna put a video after this, but can you guess where we're going? This is like nobody's here. I haven't seen this in years. I don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> What do you think about the new color on the castle? I think it's beautiful. The pink and purple is actually pretty nice. I, I like it. And the gold. And the gold too. I mean, can't go wrong. But they did that for the new, the 50th? 50th anniversary? Yep. Which is next year. Next. So we're heading over to Space Mountain right now. Um, from what it looks like right now, it's only like a 15 minute wait. We've just passed Buzz Lightyear. Uh, and they were only at a five minute wait. So hopefully we actually get like no wait times on most of these rides. Well, we're here at 5 p.m. The park closes at seven. So yeah, it would be nice to have some quick wait times so that way we can get a few a things done. Yeah. So this is very interesting and very weird because we're over here at Peter Pan and Small World. This is usually crammed shoulder to shoulder and there's nobody. Like, oh my God. I could spin around and not hit anybody. What is this? In a way, and Peter Pan's only 15 minutes, we might as well ride it. Baby, why can't you sleep at night? Tell me lies. I, I was telling Matt how much I want crab legs right now. Do is that random? It's very random, but it's very... That's the word I'm looking for. Relatable. It's a good idea. It's very relatable because I Can want I something too. Yeah. There might be crab legs on pirates. Let's pizza. go on pirates. You feel things come and go, but I still love you so. There is nothing I won't do to make this dream come true. Darling, you can walk away, but I'll keep coming. So yesterday was a lot of fun. We actually got to ride Space Mountain. We walked on the Space Mountain. Haunted Mansion. We walked on Haunted Mansion. Uh, we had like a 10 minute wait for Pirates of the Caribbean. Walked on to uh, Jungle Cruise. Yep. The crowds were not bad. There, there were like, there were no crowds. I mean, there is points At where all. my parents and I usually used to always say, you could take a bowling ball and throw it down a specific area and not hit a single person, which that's how it felt yesterday. Yeah. I'm very happy with the way that Disney's running with this COVID stuff. Um, but we did have one problem. It wasn't even that bad, so. It wasn't on Disney's part either. It was a gentleman while we were in Space Mountain getting ready to ride and he just. He was literally like up, right on, on my hip. Back. Right yeah. on my hip, yeah. It was, it was annoying. I was gonna turn around and say something, but then I just, I 
decided not to. And throughout the whole queue, there's the six feet apart like stickers on the ground. So, and they're blatantly obvious. So he yeah. was just blatantly ignoring them and was like right up in that space. So that's not something that we can control. That's not something Disney can control. That's someone's personal choice. And, you know, other than that, everything was good. Yeah. Like I felt like everyone, besides this one man, um, was following the rules. Like everyone that I could see, like in my bubble, had their mask on. Um, Disney has uh, the whole keep your mask on above your nose and below your chin um, the entire time. It's like every five minutes maybe that they're playing it over the intercoms. It's pretty good. I, I, I think Disney's doing a very good job at it. That and they had um, the hand sanitizer dispensers like everywhere. everywhere. can eat pizza on my diet. Which by the way, I've lost another one and a half pounds. Yeah, I mean, he's been running a lot. He ran six miles. Yeah, it sucks. Keto crust pizza was actually very good. It's very, <clears throat> makes me think it was pizza. Then again, it was like a healthy pizza, but it was still really good. Um, Bryn tried it. It's, it's a little bit more cardboardy. Yeah. But to be able to have pizza and feel healthy about it, I'm not complaining at all. But I went from eating my pizza to then trying his. So yeah. I had that like that very good flavor. recent comparison of <laughs> mine's definitely way tastier than what I just taste. So. Yeah, but it, it was good. Happy Sunday. Um, well, we were supposed to be getting this hurricane tropical storm thing, but uh, it's actually very beautiful out. Um, it's been a beautiful day all day. And just to talk about all day, I learned my lesson today. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, about a month ago, Bryn forgot her keys inside uh, the camper and got locked out and I had to come and save her while, after coming back from Universal. So today I forgot my keys inside the camper. Um, so, I had to ask my mom politely to come pick me up and drive me over to Bryn's work so I can get my spare Jeep key because my spare camper key was sitting in the Jeep. Good place for it, right? So, we did that and I learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> 